for this week's live. I am your Cosmic Soul Whisperer Samridhi and uh, I wanted to uh, jump in quickly to talk about today's theme and that is the path of least resistance. Um, it almost feels like a continuation from our last life and uh, uh, so I'll give you a little bit of uh, what happened in the last life and that was the uh, the karmic bypass by hi Slavi welcome so in, in our last week's life actually our last live I've, I've not been doing lives for a week or two now um, we spoke about how you can do a karmic bypass by really working in the quantum realm and uh, today's theme is quite similar and today's theme is about um, how you can follow the path, the path of least resistance so that you can continue to be in your highest alignment with your higher self. It's so lovely to have you here, Slavi. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to share with you um, some examples of things that happen in our life and how our path of least resistance um, is something that we resist most <laughs> because we always think, oh, it can't be that easy, right? It has to be really, really difficult. Uh, one of the examples is a particular project I've taken up recently and uh, um, with all the other things happening in my life that project is like really on the sidelines and I'm like okay I'm gonna take it up when I have more time uh, when I'm more mentally and emotionally available to do that project and really take it up um, but that is something that's happening on its own um, I don't really think about it I just keep doing my other stuff and I keep getting these emails, these messages and all of that related to that project. And uh, it really feels like that's the most effortless way of moving in this in that direction and uh, working towards that project. So, uh, yes, it is. It has been something that I have been um, working with this energy of following the path of least resistance. And the resistance I've been feeling is um, how can it be so easy? It's supposed to be difficult, right? Um, hello, welcome. So, uh, yeah, it, and, that, and that because of that one reason, um, I have been slowing down this particular project I'm talking about for a while because I've been resisting the idea that it can't be so easy. It's supposed to be difficult. It is supposed to take me through the dark night of the soul where I'll come up with deep, pain and through the deep pain I'll go into void and through the void I'll go into deep realizations and creativity and bring through another project or bring through birth another uh, creation from my life and uh, it's not necessarily so uh, it looks like destiny is always deciding for us uh, in a way that is uh, causing us least resistance highest enjoyment and highest joy uh, don't get me wrong, sometimes the path of least resistance is also uh, about taking us into our shadow work. So, uh, sorry about the background noise. Um, I have a fire station, uh, a train station all close by. So, you know, if we keep getting these noises. Yeah, so please don't find out my address from that. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, because of that reason, I have been resisting it. And because most of my lessons in my own understanding anyway have come from really deep realizations going into the dark night of the soul welcome motto <laughs> uh, when things are happening easily for me I feel really discombobulated I'm like how, how is this possible it, sh it shouldn't be so easy it has to be difficult and uh, so the things that I really want and that are happening easily um, I'm realizing that there is a resistance to that and I today when I sat into channel what I should do for tonight's life uh, things that came up were the words that came up for me were path of least resistance so uh, it's something that I'm working on and something that I would love to co-create with all of you and uh, uh, I picked up a card for us uh, from the beautiful Victoria Webby's uh, deck living sound light systems and I'm just going to read straight from the card it's called uh, temple windows and temple vision um, and it really talks about the connection with the great central sun that is the source which is the center of our galaxy or how, however you see source and uh, it really talks about our umbilical cord or our great umbilicus um, which connects us from our solar plexus from our umbilicus to 
the great to the center of the great central sun and uh, our connection with direct source is intact and because our connection with source is just direct and intact we don't really need anybody to come and tell us show us or guide us uh, except if we allow that in our own experience to help us but the but the source and connection is within us and because it is well within us um we can we don't really need to go into uh shadow work we don't need to go into the darkness only to come into light we can fully embrace the, the 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 light the expansion through the invitations and the presence and the gifts that the universe is providing to us and uh sometimes it's it's like you you'll be offered a flower you pick that flower then you go to the next flower uh om namah shivaya <laughs> yes thank you um nada brahma and so uh with that i just wanted to bring through the energy of our remembrance of being source and being connection with source and being a direct connection with source um and we don't really need to rely on um on shadow work necessarily to be able to remember that we are source and to be aligned and uh connected with our original blueprint which is all about love expansion joy and and the success in the way we experience it it doesn't all necessarily have to be a complicated life and um if you're especially on a path and if you call yourself for being on a spiritual journey a spiritual path it doesn't mean that you cannot enjoy uh your life in the third dimensional reality you definitely can and uh, definitely should it is your right to enjoy your realities in every existence in every layer of reality and so the path of least resistance is a remembrance that we are source and we are direct connection with source and um, i'm going to bring through some light language today uh, to help us reconnect remember uh, our connection with source and ease out everything that is coming in our resistance or that is creating resistance and so um if on the chat for everyone who's on this live if you would like to quickly type into a, into the chat um anything that you are resisting um and you want to put that bring you want me to bring that into my uh channeling space uh you can type it into the chat or just think of it uh those who are watching this after live in in my videos you can just think about it dm me or put it in the messages of the or, or comment section of this uh video um what are you resisting and what is what may be the path of your least resistance any of the answer to any of these um for example i may be resisting the next stage of my career or i may be resisting um allowing myself to go on a travel so uh, there could be many things so you can write down or you can think about it and now i'm just going to get into a channel state and bring through some light language uh that is beautiful slavika um anything that that is also true something that we don't know that we don't know and aspects within ourselves that we don't know we are resisting uh for us to come to light for that to come to light and for us to bring expansion and love through that i love it absolutely love it um so great let's uh quickly get into the channel space so wherever you are if you can uh, if you if you can find a comfortable space and really just connecting with yourself connecting with your beautiful heart and as you connect with your beautiful heart you can now just sit back relax and enjoy uh what what i'm bringing through हाय को यनिया हो आहे हे या हाय को यनिया हे हो हे या हाय यनिया हो या या हो हो हो
the whales are coming through. Oh, Thank you so much and uh, I'll see you in the next one.